was all set for the best time of the year. Today we are here at Bottlecraft, Vasco's first premium liquor outlet, a complete wine store, and let's know what to indulge into this festive season. So hello guys, we are with Edroy. He's gonna tell us more about bottle craft and you know give us a little more knowledge about which drinks to indulge in this festive season. Hello Edroy, would you please like to tell us uh, mo something more about bottle craft? Yes, for sure. Hello guys, welcome to Bottle Craft. So Bottle Craft is Vasco's one of the first premium alcohol store just one kilometer away from airport. They also call the shop as the first alcohol pickup store. Uh, so today I'm going to guide you to what to have in terms of the alcohol during this festive season. So to begin with, first I will uh, show the types of whiskies that we have. That we have is we have the Macallan. That they also know this is also known as the king of the whiskies. The Macallan is a Highland single malt Scotch whiskey which is stored for 18 years. So what a lot of people have this question like what is 18 years? So 18 years means it is stored for 18 years in two different casks. One is your European uh, cask and the other one is your Scottish cask. So it's a double barrel uh, cask whiskey. So the MRP of this uh, with scotch is 79,000 in Goa. So you'll get a hint of, uh, as it is mentioned, even on the box, you'll get a hint of dried fruits, ginger and toffee in this whiskey. So if you like, uh, love something premium to have in your cabinet and to have your Christmas on a premium side, you can go for Macallan 18, you can try it at Era shop. So next in hand we have got Jack Daniels. A lot of people know about this whiskey. Jack Daniels is like most of the preferred whiskey among all the youngsters, or even the old age people. So this is not a regular Jack Daniels, this is a single barrel Jack Daniels. So this uh, Jack Daniels will cost you 7,990 in Goa. So the difference between a regular whiskey and a bourbon whiskey is, so bourbon whiskey is made from 50% of corn. So corn, what we go in Goa, what we call as moke. So this is used mostly done by that 51%. And one more difference in the difference between this whiskey and a scotch is a scotch will always be from Scotland. A lot of people have this queries like what is a scotch and what is American bourbon whiskey. Scotches are always from Scotland. Bourbon whiskeys, whiskeys are always from US. So these are US based whiskeys. So all the JD, there is Jack Daniels, there is the Jack Daniels single barrel. There are different flavors in Jack Daniels. There is honey, apple, fire. There is a Kentucky bourbon. There is straight bourbon. So all these bourbon whiskeys come from America. So next whiskey that we have got is Monkey Shoulder. A lot of people also know about this. This is also most preferred uh, blended scotch. Now the difference between this scotch and a single malt scotch is single malt is made by a single particular grain, whereas the blended scotch is made by different grains. Because so in this whiskey is really good, and the, the MRP of this whiskey is four thousand two hundred. So if you love uh, blended scotch, I would recommend you please try Monkey Shoulder. You are going to love this. And we have Komagate. It's a Japanese single malt whiskey. So again, I'll uh, I'll make a note of this. It is a single malt Japanese whiskey, not a scotch, because this is from Japan. And uh, this is produced by Mar Shinsu Dictionary from Japan. So a lot of people uh, have, uh, have been saying about this that uh, there are different methods of making this whiskey. The thing is that the, there are three types of uh, dictionaries for this uh, whiskey. One is stored at the ground level, one is thousand feet above the sea and one is deep into the forest. So once the years are completed, they get together all the flavors and it's a burst of flavor and that is how this whiskey is made. So you get a note of vanilla in this whiskey and the price is 18,417 in Goa. So a pretty good whiskey to enjoy Christmas with your family and your friends. Next in hand we have the Yamazaki, one of the most popular Japanese whiskey of all times. People love this whiskey more than anything. So Yamazaki is again from the house of Santori. Santori has a pretty good whiskey like there is Toki. If you like a, a mild and a smooth whiskey, you can go for Santori Toki. If you like a premium whiskeys, you can go to also go for Hibiki, which is from Santori. And this is your Yamazaki. So this the one that we have in our store is a distiller's reserve. The popular one is 12 years, but distiller's reserve is not that bad. You can really go for this. 
and this dish, this whiskey has been uh, produced from 1923 and the price of this whiskey is 15,050 rupees so if you want to also enjoy Christmas with some good premium whiskey yeah, you have Yamazaki in our store please do have this next in hand we have Jameson's Jameson's is again a popular whiskey among all the youngsters any parties any small party or a big party Jameson's is visible everywhere so Jameson's is a Irish whiskey so this was uh, started in 1780 so it's a pretty old whiskey which is being done and this the MRP of this whiskey is 2500 in Goa and the notes for this whiskey are your vanilla obviously we have the oak there is vanilla there is dry fruits and the nutty, nutty worm so yes you can go for this as well and it's, it, it's for a reasonable MRP as well so so you can have this Jameson's for your festive season Taking a look at all the uh, single malt scotches we can't forget our own Indian single malts so uh, India has pretty good single malts one of them is Amrit Fusion uh, Amrit Fusion uh, at, at present is India's the most favorite single malt whiskey so Fusion has 25% uh, Scottish peated malts barley uh, and 75% uh, Indian barley. So if you love this, uh, if you love the smoky hints in the whiskey, so you can please come at a shop and try this whiskey out. But not the least, we have the Paul John Indian Single Malt, one of the well-known Indian single malts all over India and all over the world. So Paul John, I've picked the Christmas edition because we are in the Christmas festive. Uh, so this is Christmas edition, so it's different every year. So this year they have X bourbon unpitted brandy and also pitted cask. So what that means, X bourbon unpitted will be your X bourbon cask which are non pitted and brandies and also is a whiskey that they have in the Paul John. So also is a different uh, single malt whiskey of Paul John. They this whiskey are stored in the different cask which are mentioned over here and it is put out for Christmas. So the MRP of this whiskey is 6500 So do try this whiskey for this Christmas This is going to be, you're going to love this whiskey It's really good and sweet So if you love this something on a smoky side and slightly on a sweeter side You can have this whiskey, you're going to love this So now uh, we'll go towards wine So these are the two wines what we recommend from our shop for this festive season So first of all, mulled wine So mulled wine is a wine that people serve for Christmas so this wine is served warm for Christmas. So the other uh, history behind this wine is this wine was started in the second century by Romans. So Romans used to consume this wine uh, to defend their bodies from the cold weather. So that became a tradition, and now people in abroad, uh, abroad countries, a lot of people have uh, this wine because Christmas time is a winter time, so they uh, enjoy this wine at a warm temperature. They invite their friends and families to have the wine. So in Goa, we have the wine from Grover uh, Distillery. Shop cost you 700 rupees. So if you want to enjoy some warm wine with the family, do come at a shop, collect this wine for yourself and enjoy the next wine. What we recommend you is uh, the world's most loved wine by everyone, yellow tail Moscato. So Moscato is not a green wine, it is made from fruits. So this is made from passion fruit, kiwi, sweet melon. So if you love sweet wine, you can go because a lot of people have a question like you want a sweet wine to taste, uh, uh, such as a sweet wine. Muscato is the one you can go for because this is a sweet wine. So and this has only 8% alcohol, so you are going to love this. So if you if you uh, if your parent wants something uh, on a sweetest note, you can go for Muscato. There is also it's a white Muscato, there is also pink Muscato and red Muscato. So the MRP of the all three bottles are 1799 and this is an Australian uh, wine and there will be different flavors in all the three bottles. So you can try this for Christmas with your family and you can enjoy them. Let's have a look at some uh, Goan jeans. So Goa recently have picked up a lot of heat in uh, terms of uh, making jeans. There are a lot of Goan jeans that you can consume for Christmas. One of them I'll start with Samsara Pink. So Samsara Pink is uh, a Goan made brand wherein I rose and summer berries which are added in this gin. So which make this gin a uh, really uh, good flavorful one. So if you want to consume this gin, a lot of people have it neat on the rocks or they add soda. If you are going to add tonic water, you are going to cut down the flavors. So if you prefer having tonic water, please do, but I would prefer having it on the rocks or with soda. And the MRP of this model is 1850 rupees in So Samsara has also three different flavors. There is uh, coffee hazelnut, lemon and flour, and red So if you 
wish to try something on a new flavor, some exotic flavors, you can go for coffee as well. Let me know by the So this will cost you 2000 each in Ashwin. Next then we have Sativa. Sativa has become really popular in Goa because of the hemp. Uh, so this is a hemp based gin. It's also known as Happy Hygiene. So yeah, there are, uh, it's a it's a regular gin wherein they have added a flavor of hemp. So a lot of youngsters are loving this. A lot of even the elder people are loving this. People are taking this from uh, uh, our shop and going to other states. Uh, and a uh, lot of good reviews about this gin. So if you prefer something uh, on a daily basis to consume, you can go for Sativa. The MRP of this bottle is 16.50. You can uh, just come to Bottle Craft and uh, get this for yourself. Yeah. The next end we have HP Gin. HP is a bone gin. So basically uh, there is a premium gin from Japan known as Roku Gin. So Roku Gin is made from a sacred flower of Japan, Japan known as Sakura. So HP is also made from the uh, Sakura flower and but this is not a Japanese gin, this is a bone gin. What they have done is they have infused the flavor from the Sakura and they have made this gin. It's a pretty good, it's a, it is a pretty good flavor if you want something on a flavor food side but a uh, kind of a plain gin then you can go for this. This will cost you 13 50 in our shop so you can even try this for Christmas. I hope you all had a great time knowing about all the alcohols that are recommended with this festive season. I wish everybody a very happy and a safe festive season. Please stay safe and don't drink and drive but have all the fun you can.